Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it is November 1st when I'm filming this. Hope you had a wonderful Halloween. Happy Halloween. Um, this is uh, my my much anticipated baby shower haul video. Uh, you know, I see I've seen many videos of how people do this, but you know what? I just gotta do my own thing, right? So uh, this is keeping it real. This is the background. This is my background. There's no fancy lights. There's no uh, filters. It's just, as always, keeping it real. So uh, I just wanted to, first off, and I'm going to do this at the end as well and probably throughout the video, is that I want to thank everybody. Like the village that I have, or me and this little man have, are, it, it's just, it, it's, it's incredible. The village that we have is incredible. And you don't really realize how big it is until, you know, everyone is coming to you and talking to you and giving advice or giving their experiences or giving you support or um, just showing their excitement for you and it's just it's just incredible it's abs it's absolutely incredible and I'm overwhelmed by the generosity and the enthusiasm and um, the care for uh, opinions and the care for not, not even advice just um, the stories it's I'm more getting stories than advice from people from my friends, my girlfriends, my family, and uh, the, some of it's, it's honest advice, none of it's patronizing, none of it's condescending, none of it is um, like set in stone, like you have to do this or you have to do that, or um, basically like, the advice that I'm getting is you will figure it out and we'll be here for you, but you will figure it out, like there's not one way to do one thing, right, and there's not one way to skin a cat, <laughs> and I really hate that phrase because I love cats and I have but um just kind of how it happens and I want to thank everybody before I do this reveal of how beautiful how, how beautiful um, the love is and uh, I could be more grateful we could be more grateful so let's get on with the show <laughs> there's no rhyme or reason of how I'm doing things I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and let's see I'm not gonna go over every little thing because that's gonna take forever and I don't want this video to be like a 50 minute video so I'm just gonna go over what I have I've organized it as best I could to do this quickly but thoroughly and enough so that I can give gratitude where it's done or where it's due so all right here we go first off hold on Gotta have the coffee decaf. Gotta have it. I love the taste of it. Let me move this over here. Alright. So, um, on my registry, I, yeah, I took advice from those, from people, but, um, I chose things that I have seen people use and I have, uh, been recommended to use and also things that I didn't already have, obviously. So, uh, yeah, there were some clothes that I put on there. Um, I did put on new books. I put some. It's hard to. It's hard to choose and tell what you put on your registry, right? Like you're like, do I really need this? Do I need this? I don't know. So I just like a lot of it. I just kind of scan. So, but the majority of these things are from mothers who who realized what they needed, and they got me the things that they really realized that is actually necessary for raising your child or raising your baby. So a lot of this comes from their own personal experience and that makes it, you know, there's also some extra love, cute stuff too, but a lot of it comes from their personal experience and that, that makes it even that much better because I know that it's coming from a real, a real place, a place of hardship or understand, or like, um, of, uh, like figuring things out, of challenges, of triumphs, of, um, you know, you know like trials and tribulations, all those type of things, and it's, it's, it means more because those things have resulted, like these things have resulted in, okay, well, you know what, I tried this, it didn't work, I tried this, and it worked, so this is what, it, it, every baby is different, every parent is different, but these are practical things that they felt that I, that worked for them, and they put that, and they, they gifted that to us, and I am very thankful for that, I think that's really, really cool, it just adds a little element of uh, a little extra element of love and connection connection so okay um i'm gonna go put back here first and of course got the diaper genie <laughs> uh, we actually already have one uh, but it's just it's a smaller one 
Is that small one? I don't know if it's smaller, but uh, I'm gonna have two diaper genies because I'm gonna have two areas of changing. So that's fine. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> if not, then uh, the other one I got for free, so I can always give that away. But uh, two diaper genies is actually fine. I'm okay with it being in the back and one out here. So we're good with that. Um, the diaper bag thing, I wasn't really sure about, about how I, I did put two on the register, but I wasn't sure, like, what kind of diaper bag do I need? I'm seeing really stylish ones, I'm seeing, like, really big ones, I'm seeing stuff that, um, you can put on the back of the stroller, all of those things, but this is a faux leather, like, it's a vegan leather, uh, diaper bag. It's so pretty. Like, the space in there, you get the bottles for bottle pockets, um, lots of stuff for bottles, zips up, lots of room, and of course, little slots in here as well, and then you can put it on, so you put it on, of course you can put it on, if I can do this, my god, I feel like a monkey right now, cute little bag here, adjustable straps, super cool, it's super stylish too. Let me get this off me. I haven't adjusted the straps. I haven't put any of this stuff away yet, obviously, because I wanted to do this video. It's a week late. And the last time I tried to record it, it didn't it was on the camera, but it wouldn't transfer to the laptop, so it wasn't really helping me because I had to redo this. But okay, the diaper bag, hyper genie. Um and mother of my girlfriend gave me the diaper bag. And then this is a gift covering the name up because his name is up here so I'm not announcing it yet but this is beautiful you are more than we ever expected and better than we ever imagined like that's really sweet I can't wait to put this up the lettering of this actually matches the nameplate that I have for his crib so and I haven't put that up yet because it just came in obviously I'm not going to show you that yet but it just came in so once the wallpaper comes up and I'm able to put everything on that I can kind of maneuver, maneuver things but his nursery is my bedroom at the same time so we'll have to figure things out at that point um okay and I have clothes for days or days I have clothes for years from when he's born to till about three I was gonna say three o'clock till when he's about three and I still have to organize all of those things and I brought some bins to organize those I will once I figure out the organization, then I will do a video of how I did everything. But, because I'm not a type A personality at all. <laughs> I'm not a type A. Um, I can be as organized as possible, and then the organization will just, like, fuck up later. <laughs> it's just like, okay, that'll last for, like, a week. So, I have to figure out a way that's going to keep it. I understand, and I'll probably develop this as I go through the whole baby stage. But, um, the... <laughs> See, it should, may not last as long as I want it to. Okay, so we'll do some practical stuff here. Oh, so I've got this diaper caddy. Love it. This is on my registry. I love this diaper caddy. So this is going to be out here so that I can, when I do change him, or I have all my stuff here, and then he's got his other stuff in the other room. And here, like, we've got... Like everything that we need here, right guys? Like we got, we got the diaper gene stuff, we have some pacifier clips, burping claws, or these are sorry, these are wash claws, nipple butter, we need some nipple butter, butt cream, wipes, soothers, tons of soothe. These are gumdrop pacifiers. I don't know anything about pacifiers, so other than how to use them, I don't really know the difference between them, but um digital thermometer, bottle brushes, gore wash cloths, sleeping blankets, and then zip tap baby breast milk storage bag. So the silicone ones, silicone storage bags. But I love this, like it has, oh, some more burping cloths here. But no, these are these are bibs, sorry. These are bibs, not for the class. How cute are these? So, three, three pockets on this side, three pockets on this side, and then we have some, just some creams, ointment, diaper ointment, 
control, non controlling jelly, shampoo, and baby lotion. These are all live clean. Live clean, baby. So, I'm excited to use this. This is going to be very, very handy. But now i got to figure out a place to put it, like an actual stand to put it in. Because the, uh, the changing table is a little bit big. Not thinking about it. I don't think I even need the changing table, but that's okay. And these are, oops, ooh, haha, -ha, three baskets, which are super cool. So, this, each one is smaller than the last. Baby spoons, nail clipper set, or grooming kit, which is great. We've got the snot sucker, we've got some nail clippers in there, we got a comb, we got a brush. Um, what is it? Finger, is it a finger condom? Is that what it's called? A finger condom to like brush your teeth and stuff. Scissors, spoons, syringes, and a thermometer. And a carry pouch. I could have actually just looked at the back here. <laughs> but that's okay. So, is that. We some bottles in here. Parents Choice bottles. Some more soothers. Lots of more pacifiers. little designs on them and then we have the fresh fresh feed suitors this is for six plus months so you can put frozen breast milk in here they can um, suck that out same thing with frozen berries and things like that so they can eat as well which is awesome love it more wipes tons of wipes in there three tons of wipes right there yeah. okay a fresh sense we have sensitive, which could you never know, right? And then more sensitive ones. Alright, cool. And then what else we got? Oh, Medela. Well, my nipples are gonna be good. I feel well taken care of. Um, so yeah, some more scissors. So these are the cleaner pacifier, the, the pop ones. So if you drop it on the floor, this, the nipple doesn't get all dirty and gross. So that's what we got for that. And then so there's like three little baskets in here. Like these are super handy. And what I love about this is that, see the elephants on here? So these actually match, and I'm pretty sure that this was completely um, a coincidence. I don't really believe in that, but things happen for reasons. So, uh, the wallpaper is matching what this is, like what the patterning of here. So it's all elephants, like South African, but you know, just um, elephants. So I love that. I love that everything matches. Elephants are a thing. Elephants are a thing for us. Coco 18 baby socks. I'm missing a pair, so that's got to be in here somewhere. <laughs> I'm missing a sock. It's in one of these things. But these are super, super cute. And we have some more receiving blankets and swaddles. I really have to stop doing that because it's really not painful on my wrist. So Chloe and Ethan and Maxi Moose. Brands I haven't really heard of. Doesn't really matter. But these are definitely going to get used a lot. And then more, um, these are burping class, right? Well, they're class. <laughs> uh, these are Jesse and Lulu. And the coloring is great. My girlfriend gave me her, um, her some shoes. How cute are these? It's going to be good for summer. These are obviously not going to be for next year. It's going to be a couple years from now. Did a crib sheet for Winnie the Pooh. So the theme was when people ask me about the nursery, the, th the theme is Safari Jungle Animals with Harry Potter infused with Disney. None of it matches together. It doesn't cohesively go, but that's okay. Uh, that's just I wanted something from Dad's heritage and my background and what I enjoy. So I grew up with Disney non-stop it's just i grew up with animation like that and that 
is part of who I am and that Harry Potter is something that I love and will always love and is really true to my heart. So to incorporate all of those things, uh, it's, I think it's, um, it's very well rounded. <laughs> so we got a lot of culture and then we have um, the magic in there as well. But I have a blanket. This is a, a, crib, a crib sheet. I already have a bed set in Safari. I have a bed set already done. I'm just waiting for the mattress to, uh, to pick up the mattress and um, it's just the mattress. That's it for the for the crib. But I also I have bought a blanket. One of the first things when I found that I was pregnant, I bought a blanket. It was Winnie the Pooh, one of the soft blankets. And so this is gonna match really really well with that. So I'm happy about that. It'll be good for the bedding. Our theme was, there was a theme with the baby shower, and again, it was whatever, everything I just said, the Winnie the Pooh, the Harry Potter, or the Harry Potter, the Disney, and the Safari animals, and then everyone was asked to bring a book. So, and I'm, because I love books, I don't, I haven't read all of them, but I love my books, and so everyone brought books, and there's some duplicates, but that's okay, I mean, everyone's thinking the same way, I love it. We have some really sweet things, like, I've seen Santa. Yes, I'm going to show you all of them. I've seen Santa. I have two copies. Or we have two copies of Love You Forever. Because they're classic books, right? Uh, you're just what I need. I just I love the... Um, um, what is it? The feeling. When I, when I look at these books, I just love the feeling. It's like, okay, I'm going to be spending time sitting there and reading it to him and uh, that's going to be our some of our bonding time and I'm really excited about that. Uh, we have, I have two copies. No. We have corduroy. I think I have two corduroys. Yeah, two corduroys. <laughs> Love. My first night night stories. I'm not sure how many are in here. I haven't actually looked through these yet, but um, it's just so super, super cute. Like, there's a bunch of stories in here. I'm not sure how many. Oh, crap. <laughs> Three copies of Love You Forever. This one is a paperback, though. <laughs> you Are My Mother. And then two, another two copies of The Very Hungry Caterpillar. You read that? It's actually like more of a 3D now. It kind of pops out. Which would be really good visually. And then I left you since forever. And then two more guys. Or three more. Ugh. Of course, you can't go anywhere with Dr. Dr. Seuss, man. All well, the places you'll go. I will love you forever. And then this is not the best thing, but I just. Um, love this because it's all sayings from her but it's jk rowling jk rowling by allison oliver and then she's also got one for michelle obama oprah and sonia sotomayor which i think that's a, a judge she looks like a judge so just all of these things so be bold baby and to be imaginative be magical be you be inspired by jk rowling's most creative and resilient moments in this be bold baby board book <laughs> so that's that um this is another thing. Um, you've seen, everyone has seen those baby on board stickers. And I just learned this, okay? I honestly, I thought it was for another purpose, but those baby on board stickers or anything that indicates that there's a baby on board, I thought, like, in the car, obviously, I thought that those were for drivers. I thought that that sign was just for drivers to let them know, like, hey, slow down, there's a baby in here, don't be, retar don't be retarded when you're driving around me. But, I did not know that those stickers are actually for EMS and fire, or any sort of emergency uh, emergency response. Because when they're at an accident or see an accident and they see that sticker, they know that they're looking for an infant. Whether there's a car seat in there or not, they're looking for an infant because a car seat can go flying and out of there. No, no, no. Uh, but they're looking for an infant, which I did not honestly god honest god did not know that, that was the purpose of that i thought it was just for alerting drivers so we learn something every day so i'm just moving this around so the reason i'm mentioning that i need to lean back because my baby's like hello is because i have one that says baby muggle on board 
So, uh, I can't wait to put this on there. <laughs> once, uh, once the card details and cleaned and all that, then I can put that on there. But, baby muggle on board. Like, hello, that's just perfect. That is perfect. Okay, we're going to move on. I'm going to try and get through about 20 minutes now. I'm going to try and get through here. Bookend Elephant. I love this. It's like personal. What is this from? Enchanted Bookend Collection. So how cute is that? Okay, so we've got more washcloths. And we have a teething doll. And I love this. Remember how I said that it's, you know, a lot of this is from... Uh, parents experiences finger puppets for a little visual stimulation like how cute are those I would never have thought of finger puppets ever we have some gripe water uh, a lot of like medical stuff or medicinal stuff I, I wouldn't think of getting I would just choose to get it and not really understand why but you know I got nasal aspirator like more nasal aspirator butt cream um, nipple shields Again, that was from someone that said, my nips needed it, so you're getting it. Uh, Johnson's uh, soap, what is it? Is this? Oh, it's head to toe wash. Yeah. <laughs> but soap, yeah. It's soap. <laughs> but, yeah, there's a lot, of a lot of practical things, and that is super, super important for me. And then, of course, they wear brush pads. Because <laughs> uh, I was told my so I just kind of wear like a... Like a, like a liner, like a panty liner. Basically, just for your bra. Do it for your bra. Cool. So, I will learn to do that. And hopefully, I will have a supply. Like, I'll be producing milk, so it won't be a problem. Because I know that some, some people just don't just don't have a supply. And that's okay. That is okay. Alright. So, quickly, I got here and here. And that's it. I got, and then, um, I'll show you this. I'll show you that in a second, actually. Hold on. <clears throat> hopefully, he's born. He's, he's scheduled. December 16th, so I can't go any farther than the 26th, though, because in Canada, at least in Calgary, where I live, uh, we don't go past 10 days, so 41 weeks and 3 days is as far as I go, so that'll be 26. I'm really hoping that he's before Christmas, like at the 16th or later, but before Christmas. His newborn photo shoots are scheduled for the 22nd, <laughs> but it'll be cool that I can, um, we can make a um, a print of his hand or his foot for the Christmas tree. Like, that would be really neat. I think that's a really cool idea. Okay. Well, it's got a Sophie. I wanted to get a Sophie. I've been giving Sophies away. I'm not giving them away, but I've been giving them for all my girlfriends and stuff for years. And so it's really kind of uh, surreal that I'm actually getting one too. So I'm super stoked about that. <laughs> I love Sophie dolls. But I was wondering, like, why is it the giraffe? Why not any other animal? But I guess that's just how it works. I don't know the research on it. This is how it works. I'm not familiar with vans. Harry Potter vans. Tell me how cute these are. Like, for real. Tell me how cute these are. Like, super duper cute. Oh my god. Like, he'll be able to wear these for a few years, but... Like, I might get myself a pair so we can wear them together. Yeah, I'll be about 40 wearing Harry Potter vans. Don't care. If they have. Whatever. If not, fine. He could be cool without me. Hangers. Uh, definitely need more hangers. But all the clothes we got, we need more hangers. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so these are the velvet ones. So they don't, they're like, not the non-slip ones. Tons of blankets. The elephants are like kind of a theme. Like a theme animal for all the safari stuff, like I said before. But look how soft they can be. Look, can you feel how soft these are? You can see it. You can see how soft these are. <clears throat> Blanket sets. And of course you got one with dinosaurs. Little boys like dinosaurs. This is going, oh, I want to have, I used to, I don't know if you guys did, but when I was little, I had those nets, those corner nets that had all the stuffed animals over the bed. I don't know if I'll do that, but 
<clears throat> figure out a place to put these guys because they're not going in the crib with him. Well, he's not right now. I'm not going to bassinet or that with him, so I'll have to figure out a place to put them. But for now, they're maybe just dressing up the crib until he goes in there at like six months. I think is when he's going to go in there. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Elephant security blanket. Get these guys over here. Our shields. Another digital thermometer. Definitely need those. Car seat cover. It's coming home in December. It's gonna get cold. He's gonna need that. And a friend gifted me her turtle light. I need that because I don't have anything uh, like in regards to soothing lights or anything like that. So I might need to get a noise. I need to get a noise machine for sure. I will add to that. I will add to my purchases. And then these anti-colic bottles. Now, I do have bottles my sister in law gave me. I haven't done a lot of research on bottles, but I do know a few people that have had colicky babies and it caused them like a lot of strife when sleeping and whatnot. So I got the anti colic bottles to help them bring in less air when they're using them. I plan on exclusively breastfeeding as long as I can. If I have the supply, if we have a good latch, if we have a good relationship with the feeding, then I plan on breastfeeding as long as I can, as long as it's healthy for him. And as long as I'm comfortable and he's comfortable and he's healthy and he's doing good, I will breastfeed as long as I can. But when I'm not breastfeeding and all my breast milk is in the freezer and I'm out and dad's home, then I will be, obviously he'll um, need proper bottles as well. We do have some formula, but I might get one more can, one more container of that just in case. Because that shit's expensive. <laughs> but I want to kind of be ahead of the game as much as I can. So I have those bottles. My sister-in-law gave me her bottles. I do need to get a Hakka for my letdown. And I've heard so many things about Hakka, so many good things about Hakka. So I'm going to get that just to uh, make sure I'm covered on that front. And this is really funny. Like I've got, uh, I've got some refills on the different bags. But my girlfriend, who, <laughs> she's like, I'm thinking ahead for you. So when I'm in labor and delivery, I need entertainment. Other than my books and my movies, I need entertainment. I need gossip. So she got me three magazines for gossip. Hell yeah. And then these plant protein, protein, like protein bites. I got lemon and snickerdoodles for snacks because with things going on with COVID right now, we can't be going in and out of the hospital or in and out of a room to eat. So we need to pack as many snacks as possible, especially for dad because, and my, uh, my, my other support person because, um, <laughs> like things things may happen really quickly things may not but uh, they'll need food so <laughs> we need to pack enough for that okay so I'm going to show you this really quickly so this is the inside of the crate like, look, look how deep that is like and it's not velvet or really that but it's pretty solid and um yeah it's pretty deep you can put lots of stuff in there that's how I got most of this stuff home and then I also have the playpen, the Graco play, playpen. And I've got the, another one on the go. So I can take this when I'm traveling. The, not the, but a lovely um, a baby bath. And then um, I've got a lovely hamper here, which I'm going to show you in just a second. Okay, so now we're going to get into some of the clothes. Like I said, we've got so much clothes uh, for from young baby like six months to at least three years so those are all going to go not maybe the six months will stay up here but anything older than that i'm going to put it into bins and i will organize them later and i will show all that later but for now i'm just going to show something extra i got some extra stuff as well but you know what you can't go wrong with having too many coats especially in canada Lovely lion coat, which I thought was really neat. Actually, your girlfriend's son, she uh, she handed that down to me. Totally cool with that. I had nothing wrong with that. Uh, a military outfit or camel outfit, which I love. This actually doesn't go with it. I don't know. Okay, I don't know where the shirt is that goes with it, but there we go. <laughs> oh, mama's boy. Yes, he will be. But in a tough way. In a tough way. Of course, I've got another outfit like this. And I've got this muggle. He's a Gryffindor. I'm a Slytherin. He's a Gryffindor. Pants. The matching 
Speedy. Let's go over this real quick, guys. No sweatpants. So these are a little older for him. We've got baby gear, three to six months. Baby gear, skater. Yeah, he's cool. Some more pants. How cute these are. Air Jordan stuff. Hellers. You gotta respect the man. And how cute. More dinosaurs. A little chickpea set. He's gonna look so good, guys. He's gonna look so good. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you love Harry Potter? How much am I obsessed with? On a scale of 1 to 10, how obsessed am I with Harry Potter? 9 and 3 quarters. Yes, I am. More Nike and socks. I just love how creative some of these outfits are, and they're just, just super, super adorable. Disney bibs. Gotta have Mickey in there. Gotta have Mickey. I love this. I This is three to six months. Yeah, this is three to six months. I need, um, this is a Halo sleeper, and it's a zip up, which I love. Which I love, but I want one that's zero. I need one that's zero to three months. The one that kind of folds over in a swaddle, so that his arms can be kind of encased, so he's not reaching for anything. So he's as snug as a bug in a rug. But this is so pretty. Sorry, cute, not pretty. He's a boy. Make him pretty. <laughs> More receiving blankets, but Disney. So we got the penguin here, Eeyore. So this is Winnie the Pooh. Little Winnie the Pooh. Gotta go with Winnie the Pooh. Hello World matching shirts. Matching onesies and pants. But really quickly, bandana bib with dinosaurs. Uh, we have Bulldog. <laughs> Little Bulldog. Soft egg cute. These are a child of mine. Newborns. It's kind of he's a little bulldog, and I call him a Boston Terrier because they have a Boston Terrier in our family, so that'll work out. He's just gonna be so stylish. Like I'm not gonna run out of outfits, guys. And I need to I need to have an outfit for his coming home gift. Okay. Coming home outfit. I've got one. I think I've got some that I've already purchased, but I am not gonna purchase outside of what I have here because I think I've got quite a few outfits. I think I've got quite a few outfits. More. This is a bear. And little man, new, I think new to the crew actually goes with the camel pants, but new to the crew, this he is. More beanie hats and jeans. Okay, that's it for the clothes. There's little man, I got you. Little man. And I call him that all the time, little man. So, that works. Alright, that's it for the clothes. Like, tons of clothes. Tons and tons of clothes. And then the rest, just diapers. I have, I was going to say just diapers. Like, diapers are necessary. I've got a ton of diapers in there. I've got a ton of other medicinal stuff like butt cream, nipple creams, hand cream, all of those things I have in there. In, when I say in there, I'm in the PN room with the, the office. Um, so I've got more bamboo baby newborns. Uh, pampers. We've got some Huggies 2. Huggies 1, um, some excess diapers from a game, we have some newborn diapers in here, or pampers, swaddlers, sorry, um, and then there's something else I wanted to show, it's super cute, so diapers, 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 we got the diapers down, one sec, alright, so because of Harry Potter themed, and then we also, I also got a Hedwig, a little Hedwig doll, because it was Harry Potter themed, so I put, I put him away already, but, but his aunt, <laughs> a little owl out of diapers so I have more diapers in here but this is more like a decoration right now until like absolutely necessary I'm not I'm not taking diapers out of here <laughs> so leave it back and then of course everything would oh oops something fell down these are more receiving blankets but it would be complete without this hamper so this will go in his room. Ugh. So that's just beautiful. And then along with 
the chest. The chest. <laughs> so that is I was gonna say that is it. Like that's that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff and a lot of love and a lot of generosity. And I am again I am super grateful, super thankful. I couldn't be any more proud to have a village the way I do. And um um without getting emotional again, I was bawling my eyes out when I went into that room to see everybody and see all the decorations and see everything that was going on. I almost I almost broke down. Like I was crying, but I almost like broke down because I couldn't consume myself. So now the next challenge is to figure out how I'm going to get it all down or get it all organized. Okay, so that is the baby haul. I am super excited. I'm super happy. I'm, <clears throat> I can't wait to organize everything. Thank you guys for watching. I know it was probably a long video, but thank you for watching. And um, until next time, my next one is my bump date. So it'll be what, 30? Is it 33 to 35 weeks or 32 to 34 weeks? I can't remember. I'll check, but there'll be 34 weeks in the next update. That's in a few days. <laughs> so keep a look up for this video or for that video. Um, and if you have any questions about anything here or any suggestions, please let me know. Things that I still need to get. Uh, maybe a nursing pillow. Because I just want one. I want a nurse. I can, I can use pillows here, but I want to get a nursing pillow. I want to get a haka, like I mentioned. I want uh, the zero to three month um, halo swaddle. Um, a swing. But I'll get that off of the uh, Facebook marketplace. A uh, swing. I'm going to head to a corner. I'm going to put it over here. I don't know what else. I think that's it for now. And then the crib and the uh, the changing pad will come from his aunt, and they'll pick that up in a few weeks here. But I'm not in a big hurry for it because he's not going to be in this crib for the first little while anyway. But I'll pick that up, and then um, a drying rack for all the bottles. And that I think that's pretty much it. And then there's no other purchase that I need to get for him. He's he's settled. He's settled. I mean, like if I don't if I can't find what I need in this this thing right here that I'm then that is ridiculous. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I think if we're done, I think we're done. So, yeah. Anyway, you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you again for watching and thank you again to my village for your just endless generosity and heartfelt words and um, just your beauty and uh, thank you for the kind words that you wrote in the book for him. Uh, I, I brought a storybook for um, like a fairy tales and all the guests signed a uh, little little notes to him so I'm very excited and very honored for that thank you again so much for our friends and family and loved ones who just um, couldn't, um, couldn't be here without you guys so thank you again okay have a wonderful day guys love you bye